ain't going back. Now I'm going to buy into all that. Hey, hey, ain't going to hide. Going to let all the fears lie. Go for the nature. It's all my side. Got all of the loving. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Once again, Campbell and I are going to do our year ending freedoms calling you to life's lost purpose year in review recapitulation 2022 video. This is something that came to us a few days ago. We decided we're going to tell you what we've learned, what we've seen, what we've done, what's coming, what's going, and how we would like you to participate and join us in the coming year. And to thank you for all of you that have helped us get to where we are in the previous one. Hello, Campbell. How's it going? Good. Good, Lorenzo. Yeah, we're almost at the end of another year. Um, believe it or not, another year of craziness. But um, yeah, yeah, I'm doing well. Um, what's going on? Ready that's for cool. ready for a new year, that's for sure. Well, I'm going to hit us with a topic then right away. Something that I've noticed, you know, since you and I have released it on your channel and my channel has been really stressing people, inspiring people, and getting them very emotional over the basic underlying topic I would say that Campbell and I have discussed in our nine video series and many before is that it's all your responsibility, your life, what you're doing, how you're growing, the power of it's all your fault. Uh, the video Campbell just put up on, on autodidactic a few days ago. And, you know, I did an interview with Sherry Sweeney on that very topic about a week ago has driven a lot of interesting comments, you know, some of it positive, some of it negative, a lot of people having, I'm going to say hissy fits for, you know, getting ready for some more funny comments coming our way in that perhaps we can discuss a little bit in this, uh, you know, video in relation to our recapitulation, you know, what we mean by it's all your fault and the responsibility there and, and what brought us to the point where you and I are even having this conversation, you know, many, many videos later. What do you think, Campbell? Yeah. Yeah, it's all your fault. Um, yeah, it's a good one, isn't it? Um, I, I do like throwing it at people just because you get such a good reaction out of them. Um, and it, it really brings up people's, um, you know, their belief systems, right? It just throws them straight out because when everything's your fault, there's nowhere to run, right? There's nowhere mm. to turn. It's either, okay, I accept that I'll change or I'm just going to start fighting, you know? It's a complete fight or flight kind of a question. And, um, you know, as I, I say it all the time, you know, if I walked up to you and you were, you know, stupidly happy and financially, you know, exactly where you wanted to be and everything was perfect and I said, it's all your fault, you'd be like, yeah, it is. Yeah. 100%, I did it all. It's only when you're in a position that you don't want to be in that this is a really cutting remark. Mm. Um, but, you know, saying that, it, it's it's that's why it's so powerful because it cuts through everything. And, and in the end, another thing I've said often, you know, if it's not your fault, you're stuffed. You're mm. stuffed. Because mm. if it's not your fault, guess what? You've got, to, you've got to now go and change 8 billion people. Change them all. And then to make your life perfect if it's not your fault. If it's your fault, you just got to go to the go to the mirror, you know. Ask, you know, be, be true to yourself and make some changes, and you can change the world uh, that easy. What do you mean by stuffed? I've heard the slang before. So, what's the Australian definition of stuffed? You're stuffed. Stuffed, <laughs> stuffed just means um, when things go bad. Like, um, you, uh, <laughs> I don't know it. so when you're stuffed, yeah, you just you've hit a dead end and, and everything is just exploded, kind of stuff. It's a good way to see it. Bad. Bad. Stuffed. Yeah. I mean, kind of, kind of the opposite to the word stuffed, really. It's more like the stuffing. <laughs> unstuffed. Out, but yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, people. Unstuffed. Unstuffed. People, people look at it when we say it's all your fault. It, you know, they go, well, the whole world's my fault in this. I mean, really, you can see the emotional hits that come from some of the responses in that, you know, if you sit back and you consider what is meant by the power of it's all your fault. Not by it literal, like everything in the world is your fault or everything you're, you know, somebody did, it's your responsibility. It's like a huge difference between, you know, saying somebody having done something is your fault, which obviously it isn't. And what we mean by it's your fault in that if you pick up the responsibility of your life, you know, whatever the circumstances have to be, no matter how bad they are or how bad they were, uh, you can, as Campbell just said, unstuff yourself. And by that, we mean figure out a way to make a good life, to move forward, to create what you would like in relation to how you want to see your life from today going forward in in relation to how it may not be how you would like it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
this is the thing. I mean, it's. Uh, I remember I heard this saying, um, and it says basically for things to change, things have to change. And <laughs> that was just such an epitome for me. I just went, okay, I get it. Like, it's only us that can change things. You know, it's back to this thing of if it's not your fault, then you, you, you're stuck. You can't do anything um, from that position. But as soon as you take on board, I created this, then you can create something different. And like Rains I said, we're not saying everything is your, we're not saying that when a war starts, that's your fault. It's everything that you experience because everything you experience, you bring in, you bring it into your experience, right? You have to open it and put your energy on it and, and accept it. And so that's your fault. Right. If you bring it into your experience, it's your fault. We always get the choice. And, and, you know, we've all got these, you know, um, memories where we've been in positions where we've made the wrong decision, you know, and, and that's completely our fault. But then we get to, to choose again. And that's called learning. And this is the other thing. It being your fault isn't a bad thing. That's a good thing. That means you can learn and you can grow and you can then make different decisions. If it's not your fault, you can't learn anything except how to yell at the world to change, which it won't. <laughs> which it won't. And, and you know, for things to change, I'll, I'll bring it back even a little more personal. You have to change for things to change. You are the creator of your life. You are the responsibility for your day-to-day. -day. Whatever your choices happen to be, you know, even in action and being a choice, it's still, you know, the, the buck stops with you as far as what you do and don't do every day. And you know, and I'm actually tired up to hear of people saying, what about the children that get sick here? Or what about happened? You know, that's not the point. The, the, you know, the, the the child that had blood cancer, I'll talk to the fellow that talked to me or the child that's been, let's say, uh, shenanigans, you know, from adults and things like that. I'm not saying it's their fault that these things happen. What we are saying is it happened and it, it's not even your responsibility. I mean, it's a bad example unless you were actually there and you were that child. You know, if you were that child that had the blood cancer or you were that child that was interfered with, then, you know, you could talk from a point of power in relation to what you want to do with having had that experience 30, 40, 20 years ago, whatever, and, you know, picking it up and incorporating it into your life, into how you become a stronger person today. But sitting there going, what about that child who had a bad life? So now that it has nothing to do with me and I'm 50 or 40 or 60. And so you're wrong that it's all your fault. I mean, you're just taking a point out of the ether and using it as an excuse to not become powerful and change your life and how you would like to. Basically, you're blaming, you're, it's it's even worse than blaming something that happened in your life. You're blaming this perhaps fictional <laughs> ideal of yeah. something that maybe happened a long time ago that you read about somewhere in a book or saw on a news channel or, you know, or heard about, you know, third hand from, from an old uncle that you don't see anymore about how something bad happened to a child one day 30 years ago. And so now you're not responsible for your life, which of course is very irresponsible way to make any changes that you may happen to be looking to make because you must be responsible for your life in order to become responsible for how you would like your life to be, I would say. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just all semantics and deflection. You know, it's just people don't want to look at themselves. So they go, oh, starving children oh cancer yeah. pain you know <laughs> so it, it, that's all it is right it's something that's outside of them that's got like you said it's got nothing to do with them there's no connection they've seen some and this is the thing right a lot of it is a story on the news right and they, and they get emotionally attached to it oh my god it's so bad and what have we done for the last two years we've spent all this time discussing how the news is full of lies <laughs> so we don't even know if this stuff is true you know chances are it's not but people get it emotionally attached to all this thing so the thing is if you can't affect it don't you don't give it your energy if, if you really are affected by you know whatever you know children getting sick then get off your ass and go and involve yourself and go and change it okay that's that's your options or li live your own life because in, in the bigger picture you know you can say but but that child didn't choose to you know be born sick or whatever but there's a bigger picture here and, and you don't know what that person's biggest soul journey is. No. So again, it's it's not really any of your business. <laughs> you know, we should always do the best to help people and, you know, do no harm and all this and make the world a better place. But we have to focus on ourselves because you are the only person you can change. You can spend your whole life yelling at people to change and I guarantee you most of them won't. They'll just walk away from you. Um, so this is the thing, like we've got to put our energy into things that, that work, that we can actually affect. And really what this comes down to, since we've decided to do a recapitulation video, is what I've learned this year 
in working with Campbell and what I've done is how to take more and more responsibility for my life and my past choices and my future comings and goings, all by seeing how I was wrong. You know, that was one of our other videos, how I've made mistakes, how I've been an asshole, how I've been a bad person, how I've been not so nice in relationships, how I was you know, uh, maybe a bad sibling, maybe bad in a relationship, maybe a bad son, you know, maybe maybe a good son now. It doesn't really matter. But, you know, really what it all comes down to is once you learn to take responsibility for your life, you can start to see how to change things in the ways that you would like to make them. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, if, if it's not your fault, you, you can't change anything. And what are you going to change? Because it's not your fault, right? If it's not your fault, then, then you know, why would you have a goal? Why would you try and do anything, right? Because what you're saying in one statement is you you, you can't affect it. But then you're going to say, I want change, I want change. Well, you can't have it both ways. Yeah. Either you create your reality, good and bad, or you don't. And if you don't, well, then you're just floating in a sea of, other people's, you know, opinions and wants and you, you, your stuff, you know, you, you're in a bad position. So this is, you know, whatever way you look at it, you, you have to take control and you have to take um, responsibility for your life if you want it to change. Because, you know, other people will change your life. They will try to, but I guarantee you it won't be to what you want it to be. It'll be to what they want it to be. And again, if you let them do that, if you accept that and walk down that path, it's your fault. And even if you do walk down the path, it, it's your fault if you don't like it and you stay there because, you know, we get the choice to back up and go in a different direction. You know, I was thinking if you're on, if you're walking down the street and it's really hot and you, you, you're like, I want some water and there's a street and it says water this way and you see it and you ignore it and keep walking and keep getting thirsty, well, whose fault is that? Mm. That's exactly what happens in, in life, right? We get that choice and people go, ah, oh, yeah, it's just a sign. I'll keep walking, and then they start yelling at the world that there's no water on the on the yeah. path that they kept walking on. Yeah, like it's, it's my you father's know, fault so for not giving me extra um, water I mean, when I was younger. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. So I was just going to say, it's all about responsibility and growing up. You know, there's a point that we've got to grow up and just go. Well, here I am. I, I get the choice. What am I going to do with all this stuff? Am I going to just keep crying and and be a victim, or am I going to, you know? actually you know start doing things and creating my own reality because we do it anyway so you may as well do it to something that you want it to be you know i'll be very clear here is it easy not at all is it fun at first not at all how hard and who wants to sit there and realize they've made a hundred mistakes or a thousand mistakes or they were a horrible person or they were a bad you know whatever even if they were just bad to themselves you know i hear all these people going i've been nice to everybody my whole life and look at how bad my life okay so maybe you haven't been good to yourself maybe it's been the internal struggle maybe it's been what you think about who you are and what you are and what's possible and if it was easy it would be easy but you know it, the fact that it's hard also i read somewhere it was a Taoist thing that said you know the easy path is the hard path and the hard path is the easy path you know living in an inverted world and, and i yeah, think it's yeah. true if you try and take the easy route your whole life and i've seen people that do that you end up a very very hard old age uh you know very 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 irresponsible mm -hmm. very un 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 uh unpowerful because you've given your power away and so then you're at the mercy of of your taxes or, or your pension or, or the government's rules or you know, or, or or the medical establishment or, or the travel establishment or, or, or your kids, if you need someone to look after you, whatever, you know, you can add your own list of things where you need someone to help you. But if you pick up your power now while you're still able, you know, whether you're 30 or 130, uh, you know, you, later on, as hard as it is now, it'll be a lot easier. You know, when you're in your 80s and 90s and you can get up every day and do everything you need to do for yourself and you're independent in all the ways that are important. And you'll be saying, wow, I'm happy mm -hmm. I made that hard choice 40, 50 years ago because here I am. And you can say, you know, F to the rest of the world in your powerful way because you can do whatever you need to do for yourself. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, easy decisions, hard life. Hard decisions, easy life. You know, if, if all you were ever going to focus on is the easy decisions, you know, the small things then all you're doing is putting off the big decisions and those big decisions, they don't go away. They just get bigger. Mm -hmm. And we see this all the time. But if you if you have a big decision and you tackle it and you 
sort it out in the moment, it's done. Mm. It's done. It doesn't get any bigger. And 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 life gets so much easier. You know, it's like Lorenzo was saying, it's, it's what you do now. If you want to, you know, be fit and healthy in your old age, but every morning you're like, oh, oh it's just it's easy to just turn the telly on and sit here for half an hour. Mm. Then your old age will be hard. But if you make the hard decisions and like, well, I really don't want it when it's freezing cold, but I need to go to the gym, then your old age will be easy. And this how this is how it works. So um yeah, don't don't deflect all, all the you know, all the decisions. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing I've sort of learned and gone through this year is you know, self-responsibility, right? I mean, we've just got to take responsibility and 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 admit that we're here, right? We're here in whatever this place is. We're in this body. We're in these circumstances. But we've, you know, we've created this life in this world around us. And no matter how much, you know, you want to sit in the lotus position on a cushion and imagine it's not true, that nothing will change by doing that, right? It is real. This is what what reality is. We've created this. So um, the biggest thing is you can't unchange that. You can't change that if it's not your fault. You've got to take responsibility. And then the next thing is, you know, we've had all this, you know, intel. Everyone's out there telling us this is going to happen and this is going to happen. And this, just wait, I, I, this this time it will happen. It really will. Um and, and what have we learned over the last few years? None of this Intel stuff has come true. None of it. None of it. So the, the, the next big thing I, you know, I've learned is you've got to let go of all of that stuff. It's, it's just other people's opinions. Make up your own decision of what you want. Don't let the outside world guide you, your inner world. Decide where you want to go in life and what you want to build and just do it. And the outside world is the outside world. That's just everyone else who's confused and going, what do I do? Oh, my God, look at that. So don't don't play in that crowd unless you want to be confused. Um, so it, it's really this is the thing. I, I think it's all about growing up and really just understanding we have the power to step outside the group. And once we do that, we can then, you know, hone our energy right and focus on things and really start creating things. Because as we know, it's never the people from the groups, right? It's never the people who have to be out there every Friday and Saturday night drinking with all the trendy people. They're never the ones who change the world, never. are they? I mean, it's. And this is the thing. It's, it's only the ones who make a decision, go out on their own and, and say, I'm doing it anyway. They're the only ones who change the world. Um, you know, so that's a decision. What do you want to be? We've had a lifetime, but three years of craziness. So do you want to be the victim that this <laughs> it's getting pulled along? By the, or do you want to be the one who's got like, bugger, I've had enough. I'm going that direction. You know, I, I've looked back when I've looked back at this year, and over the last three years of nuttiness, and I've seen my whole life has been of a similar nature, right? You know, Campbell sharing his alternative historical perspectives on his channel, other people sharing alternative energetic perspectives on what's possible. And when I've taken an honest look back at my entire life, since we're talking about recapitulation, I see I've been fooled since day dot, as Campbell has said before, since day one. You know, they've lied to me about this and schooling did that. And my parents taught me this other thing and TV shared something else and movies shared a fourth point and you know and magazines at the time shared a fifth point and friends so-called friends at the time shared another point it was all bullshit simply because i didn't pick up the power of figuring things out for myself right i took on other people's perspectives on life and who knows what our history is who knows where we've come from i mean i've seen cloning videos recently and giant videos and archon videos and and tartarian videos and mud flood videos and, and more more land videos and you know round earth hollow earth flat earth crater earth videos and you know, it could all be BS. And and and, you know, and I've got so many people that have said, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what to believe. And you don't got to believe anything. I think that's the point. The point is you can sit back in your room, as Campbell said, look at your own life honestly and see what you need to do and then take one step and then the next step and create it, even if you don't know where you're going yet. You know, I can take this life I'm building with Campbell in a way, you know, we met a few years ago, we decided to do videos. We had no idea where things were going to go. We had no idea what courses we were going to take. We had no idea we would become friends. We had no idea we were going to grow in the way we've grown. And even just this week, you know, new possibilities, which I'm not going to show yet until they become more solid, have showed up as ways for our life. And maybe for you too, down the road, keep watching throughout this next year. It should be a very interesting, you know, 2023 coming up uh, in what's possible, you know, for the physical community building aspects of the esoteric ones that him and I have been talking to. But, you know, Campbell and I have tackled, let's say, the inner work first. 
it hasn't been, oh, we're going to go to a loving community and then people are going to serve as mango sherbet every night. And then, you know, the relationships are going to be great. There's going to be, you know, a warm hot tub for us to jump into every night. And, you know, little elves are going to massage our feet from a long day of, of, of planting grapes, you know, and deciding what, 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 you know, what, what, which one to have for dinner. It's more like, holy shit. Campbell went through his challenges. I've gone through my challenges. You know, we've worked from humble beginnings uh, to where we are by looking at ourselves and putting that together. And then now there's some light and glimmer as to the beauty that might be offered and available through our own work, I'm going to add, you know, our own hard work in this coming year, maybe a land to live in, maybe beautiful homes, maybe a way to have good food, maybe a way to have good community, water, healthy living. But we've had to earn the right through our blood, sweat, crying, tears, you know, and physical ailments to get to where we are. And I'm not saying we're great. We've just stuck to it. We've done it. We're not the only ones. So if any of you listening want to come to this grand land of good community and nice people and happy forever dancing in the in the fifth dimensional chakra and filled, you know, u- unicorn riding, you know, uh, sunlight and moonlight, man, you got to earn your way there by taking responsibility for your life. And that's what we mean. That's what's waiting on the other side of it's all your fault, right? This way that you want to make, as Campbell said, you know, if it's all your fault, the bad things, it could also be all your fault, the good things. And by that, I simply mean your responsibility to make it. And if it's not there yet, don't blame anybody for anything, for any reason. You're just wasting your time and then you'll be dead. You know, as soon as you pick up that power, no matter how hard it is, maybe it's only a thimble full of power right now until it's a bucket, until it's a, a you know, a, a pond, until it's a lake, until it's an ocean, but you got to start somewhere. Pick it up today, grow with it, see where it's going to take you, uh-huh. you know, by recapitulation, look at your life, be honest, you know, see, it's not your fault. Okay. Maybe you've had a bad job. You know, I, I'm going to take this a little further, but why did you go to that job? Right. You know, so many people stay in relationships because they're lonely. Why did you stay there? If you knew it was bad, why did you stay in a marriage? If you knew you really didn't like a job, but you know, you've had the excuse of having to pay the bills or having six, you know, children and, and seven dogs to look after. These are still choices you've made. And at the time, if your heart was telling you, it's not a good choice for you, even if you don't have it, like so many people say, well, there's nothing better I can think of at the moment, or it's better than this bad, this worse option. I've heard that over and over. Well, at least I'm eating, right? Or at least, you know, I'm paying the mortgage or or at least my, you know, my wife has got new shoes or, or, or if your wife is working, at least, you know, at least my husband can look after the babies, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I guess the sun's coming in to talk with me now. It's the morning here in the land of the rising sun <laughs> in Japan and the sun's rising. But um, what I'm basically saying is even if you're acting or not acting in that moment, that's a choice that you can make. And that's how you could learn to take responsibility. Even if you don't know where you're going to go next, maybe you simply know what you don't want to do. And sometimes you have to stop what you, what you're doing. Cause if your day is full from, you know, eight in the morning to eight at night doing a job you hate, Obviously, by the time you come home and you watch your telly for an hour and then you pass out and start again, there's going to be no time for you to come up with something new. But if you have to sit around for two weeks and worry how you're going to pay the bills, let's say, or worry how you're going to eat or worry about how you're going to you know, buy little Mikey his, his new bike or shoes, good. That could be exactly the moment when you take a walk during that day that you don't go into the office, that you don't go into this job, that you don't go dig that ditch, and you never know who you're going to meet Along the way, it may change your life because you've given yourself the opportunity to allow for something new to happen that day instead of something you know, you don't, you know, maybe you don't know what should be happening, but you can damn well bet most of us know what shouldn't be happening, what they shouldn't be doing in their day. So if you just stop and allow, who knows what's going to come? Yeah, yeah. Break the routine. Mm. Um, you know, that, and that's what they, they had us in these circles, right? We're just going in circles never stopping to look at what we were doing and achieving and, you know, what it was all about. Um, but, the, you know, the whole thing about deserving, you know, if you don't know exactly where you want to go, you know, at least you know that you want to change direction. You can you can do that and you can start trying to deserve the life you want. You know, what, what traits do you need to work on? You know, who do you need to become? Um, you know, because it's like Lorenzo said, you know, opportunities and things are coming up. Um, now, I've, you know, wanted to get off grid and on the land for years and years, and I've I've been on a few of these different communes, and and they just fall in the like, – it's, it's really depressing because you just used to get these hippies who'd turn up 
and yeah, they're going to save the world and they're going to do this, but none of them have got a clue. None of them have got any skills. None of them have spent any time on anything. None of them deserve what they say that they want. No. And they end up just sitting in the mud and doing nothing. Um, <laughs> and and this is why you've got to deserve things, you know. Like It, yeah, it happens all the time. I've but seen if a few. you spend time on, on what do you want, okay, this is really what I want. You know, I don't want to sit in the mud. I want to build this and it's going to be, you know, we're going to have tech. It's going to be, you know, state of the art. We're going to do this and this. Then you'll start to understand that you need to become more than you are if you want that to happen. You need to deserve it. You need to go and work on the skills. You need to do whatever you need to do. But everything, you know, as far as developing yourself to become who you need to be to have what you want, that's, that's you know, the process. That's all the decisions. That's what you can start doing now that will get you there. And even if you don't know where there is, if you know that there's going to be a permaculture garden, then you know you need to work on your gardening skills. Okay, so these are things we can do. Instead of sitting around going, woe is me, oh, what do I do? Uh, if you like gardening, get off your butt and go and do some gardening. Sure. That 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 is a different direction. That's a different path than what you've been taking. So, you know, little steps as well. But the biggest thing is if you want change, change. That's it. You know, Campbell and I have this course. It's out there. It's ready. Nine videos, worksheets. Life's calling you, you know, to your freedoms, calling you to your life's lost purpose. We're charging a hundred bucks US now for all nine videos and workshops. That's going to go up, by the way, to 150 come the new year. But the reason I'm mentioning that is it's so cheap in relation to what people spend their money on these days. I mean, I, you know, I'll go grocery shopping and I'll spend 50, 60 bucks for something that lasted a day or two. So, and, and I'm not saying you should buy this and, and give us money for the course, whatever. I don't, I don't really care. But what I'm basically saying is, it's a spot where you can start, where we've shared, we've put our blood, sweat, and tears into this for like, I think we made it, it took us four months to make it or five months or something like that. It you know, long time, yeah. you know, yeah. where we're, we're getting maybe nine bucks a video. Oh my goodness. You know, I don't even think we're breaking even, which is probably we're going to have to raise our prices, but it gives you an opportunity if you want to take it to do some work on yourself, to find out the beginning spots for yourself, to grow into something that maybe you need and you require. And if you don't have the hundred bucks, watch our free videos. They're out there as well. I'm going to cut people off at the past with that one right now, you know, because Campbell and I have both shared hundreds of videos that are there for free. If you want to like pick up some pieces for yourself. So what we're basically saying in this recapitulatory, recapitulatory video of 2022, if you want to change, it's possible. You want to do something, it's possible. You want to cry and 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 blame like a baby, that's possible too. You know, just don't expect to have a better life without making one for yourself. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, this is it. You know, we've been through this past three years for a reason, right? Everyone at least got the chance to stop and and look at their life and then you know, sort of assess what what the hell they're doing and, and what they're getting. So um, again, you know, if you want if you want things to change, it, it's just up to you. That's it, and it doesn't have to be huge. You don't have to have this grand, you know, um, picture in your mind of of how you're going to change the world. You just need something different. You know, a different thought will lead to a different action. A different action will lead to a different reality. All right? You know, you do something different, you get something different. So that's the biggest thing is, um, you know, we, we've all been sort of forced to grow up a bit, I think, and and understand that that we are the ones creating all this. And so if we want to create something different, we need to just do something different um, and stop, you know, stop playing the victim card, stop playing the poor little me, because there's always someone poorer and littler than you, I guarantee it. Yeah, um, right. And crying doesn't change anything. You know, you're so, like, um, is... like, like Lorenzo said, yeah, we've got a course out there. Yep. Um, you'll find the link below and all the information you will find in our free videos, but this is, you know, if you, it's all condensed into a, into something that's easy to follow. We've got, workbooks and all this kind of stuff so if you want to put some work into that um and you know start getting some different results um then you click the link below and go and check it out yeah you can join just for the videos that's fine there's also an option to have some zoom conversations with campbell and i we're going to start in the new year so that that way if you do the course and then you have any direct questions or suggestions at the very least you can get our opinion on it for whatever that'll be worth to you and you know it is your fault in that your life has to be your fault. It's your responsibility. Life is a gift. Mm. You're born, you're breathing, go smell a flower. You'll see how wonderful life can be. And if it's not your fault, you know, you're an accident of creation. I mean, good luck to you, I guess, with that perspective. But in my opinion, I would rather have, 
the ability to take full responsibility, even if I'm not sure how to get there yet, what I want to do and what I'm going to go. I know every day that I make one step or half a step forward towards picking up my own pieces and seeing my own better life. I'm meeting new friends. I'm having more opportunities. I'm getting like, even I wanted to look for some part-time work. I'm going to share a quick story. I was walking down the street yesterday. I went to go shopping. I didn't buy anything. There wasn't anything I wanted. I was going to get some vegetables. And literally I hear sumimasen, which means excuse me in Japan. A lady's chasing me down the street, tapping me on the back and asking me if I want to teach part-time in their English school because they need a gaijin, which is a foreigner teacher, right? And she's seen me walk by her school a few times. And I thought about it, but I haven't gone in. And I said, ah, maybe I'll take some part-time work, you know, make a few extra bucks. It'll be fun. She basically grabbed me from behind yesterday and said, come in, let's chat about it. And offered me a part-time, which is perfect for me, for some pretty good, uh, you know, monthly, uh, weekly, wa- uh, hourly wages, pardon me. But what I'm basically getting at is I made the choice first that I'm going, I think I'm going to do some extra work to make some extra money for myself and see what happens. I had to make that choice. And I had no idea yesterday walking home, this lady was going to grab me who, who, you know, who, who's, uh, she's Japanese, married to a British fellow. So she had some English and say, hey, why did you come work with me? How did that happen? I asked for it, but I didn't know this is specifically what I was asking for, right? I just said, I need some extra work. Mm. You know, I want to pay, like, this is what I'm saying by Camel and I am making a lot of money <laughs> yet. Because I had to say, yeah, maybe it's time for me to take a part, part-time <laughs> job teaching English because, you know, it'll help pay for some of, of my groceries every week. But then the world said, okay. And I literally got grabbed from behind walking down the street and offered this job. So the bottom line mm-hmm. being, I didn't think about it. I didn't know it was going to happen this way. I had no clue that, you know, this was the way it was going to go. I just made the choice first that this is something I want to see in my life. And then somehow it did manifest in this way for me. So, you know, do it. And you'll do it. Cry yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. And, and you don't know, you'll get a lot of tears. You don't know where that's going to lead either. You know, there could be much more down that path. That's the thing. Like we've also got to accept, accept, you know, opportunities, right? And, and um, without judging where they're going to lead us, because you know, who knows who you'll meet through doing that. So, so that's the thing, right? You know, um, and and that, that's the difference as well. Is you could be a victim. And go out and say, "Oh my God, I'm so poor. I can't afford. I need a job. I just need a job. Please give me. I just need a job." Or you can go, or you could not be a victim and think, "Well, all right, I want to change things. Yeah, I could use some more money. I need some more money. Put it out there. I wonder what will turn up." Right, and that's a completely different thing than being needy. I need this job. It's like mm. whatever I needs there, it'll turn up. I'm just going to put out that I want this. And we'll see what happens. And then, of course, the next thing, next step is take those opportunities without judging them as you know, as what you expected or not. So um, that that's it, guys. You, you can create whatever you want, um, and you can the opportunities are there, you know. And as far as money, if if you know, if a hundred dollars is a lot of money, well, I would say that's something you've created. That's your fault because I can guarantee you, there's people out there who a hundred bucks is nothing. Hundred bucks, what? Well, it's nothing. And it's all it is. It's just a mental state of, of us thinking a hundred dollars is so expensive, right? I mean, it's, it's it's you know it doesn't get any more money. I've got to work all these hours for it. Well, not yeah. if you're someone else. There's yeah. people out there that aren't doing that. So that's not the truth. That's just your perspective. So change it. You know, just go. Oh, well, if a hundred dollars, well, what if a thousand dollars was nothing? What if it was nothing? How about that for a thought? Right. If you think that, will it will it change reality? You have to go and get give that one a go for yourself, guys. It's a good one. You know, money is digital these days. It's numbers on a screen. It really doesn't mean anything. So, you know, consider everything deeply. You know, it's how I would suggest this recapitulatory year in 2022. Our course, as Campbell mentioned, does have some worksheets and PDFs that help you to consider things deeply if you're interested. You know, we're happy to help you as much as we can, as much as you're willing to help yourself. And uh, once again, thank you so much for everything you've shared with us over the last year. We look forward to more in the new year. The links will be below. We'll get this up on channels on Campbell's channel and my channel right away. Our recapitulatory 2022 freedom's calling you to your life's lost purpose. And it is all your fault. And thus it's your responsibility. And you can claim some wonderful things from there. And that's how I'd love to leave it this year. Indeed. All right. Indeed. So have a an amazing new year. Happy Christmas. Um, and remember to spend time with those you love. Give them your presence. Don't give them presents. Um, because all we need, you know, it's just it's just the human connective that we need. So yeah, thank you for for checking us out and and, and um, watching us for for a year. And we will be back next year with 
bigger and better things. Yeah, we love you all so very have much. Have an amazing end to the year. Yeah, have an amazing year. Talk to you all soon. Bye bye for now. See ya. Light up my heart. No one tells me where I should start. Freedom.